My name is Ishmael Habib. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. We got J Smooth right here. We got Young Cafe right here. We got Big Ness right here. And we got Respectful Ray right here. What did I work on this off season? Uh, mainly my ball handling, uh, my shooting, my catch and shoot, how to beat people off the dribble, and just getting inside the weight room and getting bigger. The biggest thing for me was, you know, getting ready for the Big Ten, and I know that I need to change my body, so I started that process, and, you know, I think that it's definitely showed a huge change in my athleticism, but also in addition to that, you know, they moved back the college three point line stuff, so I try to work on my range and, you know, my all around game. There's always somewhere in my game that I can get better, and I know that for a fact. I worked on getting quicker and more explosive so I can be quicker on the defensive side, and also I worked on finding more ways to get my shot off and working on my shot to make it more consistent. This offseason was really tough. Uh, it was pandemics and everything, so I came back to Russia, my home, and I couldn't even get to the gym, so I was working on my athletics and on my speed and strength most of the time. Then I came back here, I went straight to the weight room. I, I gained like 10 to 15 pounds in my weight, and then I started working on my defense and my shots so I can prepare for college next year. This summer, I worked on my jump shot, and uh, I got stronger. Uh, COVID made me more appreciative for everything I have. Uh, during the pandemic, I still able to play and stuff, so, I mean, it affected me, but not as much as the other people. So I'm grateful for that, and it's just made me super appreciative. I did a highlight video by myself, so coaches could, like, see me for at least for a bit, and I got offered, and I committed to University of New Mexico. I think uh, the biggest thing for COVID was, you know, just, thinking about what's the smartest thing to do during this time, you know, especially staying safe. So, you know, I try to do my best with uh, my family. Sometimes you think that it's the worst situation, but for me, I think as far as my recruitment, it definitely shot up. I ended up committing to Rutgers, but the main thing for my self-development was really me, like, re-falling in love with the game. You know, like, I think that it got my edge back, you know, I'm like, I can't take none of this for granted because Nothing of this is guaranteed. COVID for me was like a blessing in disguise also because like I was in a public school in Montgomery County so if COVID never happened I would have never been here. So like I just kept working. I knew like somewhere somehow I was going to be able to play basketball because I kept working. So then I got this blessing to come here and play at a higher level with more competition to help me get to the next level. So ever since COVID I've just been like working real hard just trying to keep going. Me being from Chicago, when that happened, um, it was hard for me to get in gyms and to do what I love. So I had my family members around me, and that made me like appreciate the bigger things in life, like them. And honestly, just coming here, playing on the national stage, you know, playing against these top teams, top players in the country, it's helped my game expand and just to become better at what I do. And I think we are 100% ready. We are ready to play. We are ready to show us, prove, prove who we are, and put our goals and accomplish them. I don't know what everybody else saying out there about us, but honestly, we don't care. Like I said, we all got that dog in us, dogs kill. That's what we're doing this season. Remember the name. Bishop Walsh is coming. <laughs> what, what you said? <laughs> you go.